In this video, we are going to discuss the example of web scrapping and we are using the website flipkart.com. And firstly, what we need to do is, these are the steps which we need to follow to extract or scrap the data from Flipkart. And the first step is importing necessary libraries like beautiful soap, request, pandas and CSV. CSV we will use to store our data. So CSV file is required. So we will import that library also. And then we are going to find URL that we need to extract inspect the page we need to specify the content variable with html form in which we want to extract then we have to write the code for scrapping and store the result in the desired format so for that first step is we need to import the necessary libraries so we have imported the bs beautiful soap from bs4 request csv and we have imported pandas as pd so let us firstly, if you want to check in your system, so you can check with the help of pip install that pandas is there or not. So in my system, pandas was installed. So it is showing me that requirement already satisfied or else you can install with using this syntax pip install pandas. So let us firstly install all the libraries and then we will go ahead with the program. Next, we need to import request. Then we need to import CSV. And we're importing pandas as PD. You can give any other name also. I'm using PD. So I have imported all the libraries and next what I'm going to do is that I need to find the URL which we need to extract the data from. So here we are using a Flipkart website. In the tutorial also you can see while you're checking that this is the particular link which we are using and as I open it, it shows me a range of laptops and what I'm going to extract is the name, the rating and the price which is there from this particular laptop. Now to extract this and you know give all that particular contents of HTML class what is there. So we need to inspect the page. We need to specify the content variable from HTML which we need to extract. So firstly what we need to do it, we have to click here and we need to click on inspect. And as you do that then you have to select this particular and come here then it will show you the class which is there. It will show you here also at the top you can see that. At the top of this, you can see that div 4R capital R 01T and also you can see here that this class is pointing here. Similarly, for this class also, you can see that the name of the laptop has one particular class. Next, for price also, you can see that the price class is also given here and that particular price class and the name of the class is given here. This is the class which is I'm pointing here. Similarly, next we have the ratings. So again you have to select the element to inspect and you have to come here so this is for rating that is 3lwz1k so these are the names of the class which we need to specify while extracting or scrapping the data from the website and i am taking these three fields only now the name the rating and the price of that laptop so this is how you can inspect a particular page so next you need to uh, we have inspected that and we have got description of the class name also and then you have to give those names so let us run firstly for one and then we will fetch all products I'm storing it in list and then prices And next we have ratings. So ratings here we are going to use soup dot find. So it will find the division comma
the attribute so that we are writing attrs equals to we are giving here class And here then I'm going to use a colon also. And next we are going to give the name of the class. So that we have seen is underscore 4 R capital R 0 1 capital T. This is the name of the class which is there when we inspected the page. Here you can see that elements inspect. 4 small r capital R 0 1 t this is the name of that particular class of laptop and we are fetching the requirements that is the product price and ratings and then we are going to print it so we have to print product dot txt As I run this particular cell, you can see here that it is finding me the class which I have given and that is specifying I am giving the class element as the name of the product. So it is returning me the name of the product only. That is this particular laptop which we have selected here. This laptop and it is returning me that name. Next, now we are getting the particular laptop description. For all laptops, what we have to do, we need to write a loop so that to get all the corresponding classes of the price and rating and for a complete product set, we need to do that. So for that, we will write a loop and now let us write it here for A in soup dot find all. We are finding the anchor elements. So we'll write here a comma href equals to true. A T T R S attributes equals to we need to name the class then we need to use a colon and then we have to give the name of the class for the attribute so when we select the entire thing that is this particular outer box if we select then this is having the class name you can see here and the class here is like this and if I open this so okay so this is the class name which is there of this particular block which is having the description of entire laptop and that is underscore one small f q z e k so i'll give the name of this class only here for the entire selection of the outer block one f q And in that particular loop, we have to find the attributes of name of each laptop, price, and then we have to give for rating also. So let us do that. And now we have to give the name of the class. So firstly, we are using the name. So in the element inspector only. So this class name is this 4R. So I will copy the name of class from here. And I will paste it here next we need to find for the price so this is the price so again we need to select this is the for price and from here i am going to copy this class name and paste it here and next we have to find for rating so okay let us find for rating also again we go to the side select the element inspector and this is for the ratings and the name is yes so this is the name and we are going to 
copy this also and paste it here so this is done and next what we need to do is we have to find and text append also that the name price and rating will be there so products dot append prices dot append and ratings dot append so that a complete set can we get that so let us do that also products dot append it is going to append the name dot the text Similarly for prices, dot append, price dot txt, and last for ratings. We are going to append and it will have ratings dot text. So this is the code which we have written to get all the class corresponding to the price and ratings for a complete set of products. So now we have to store the result in the desired format and for that we will use the data frame that will be storing the value like we used to do in dictionary that is a key and a value pair. So we have given the value pair as products, prices and ratings and that we are going to store. So df I am using here the variable and that is going to I have imported pandas at pd and this will create a data frame and now let us write the values so firstly it is going to have the product name and we'll have the value which we have given is in products next it is going to have the value of prices And that will be we have given the value in prices only here and last we have is for ratings and that will be stored in we have given ratings dot append so we'll write here ra ratings this is done and next we are going to use df dot head this actually prints the first top five entries so we are not printing all the entries we're just printing here the five entries so now as i execute this particular cell here you can see that an output is generated a data frame that is and we have used the head method and that will display the top five records only of this particular file that is the product name prices and the ratings next if i want to store this in a csv file then we can use the method df dot to csv and we have to give the name of file that is products dot csv So this is also executed and at, when you go to the home and you check then here you can see a product.csv file is created and here you can see that it is having product name rate prices and ratings that is the name of the products which are there the price and its respective ratings. So this is how you can do web scrapping of a particular website also that is live website which I have shown you with the help of python.